Hey, this is Dr. Dan Purser, danpursermd.com. I'm right here in front of the Prime Minister's office, house, something like that, here in Reykjavik. These Prime Ministers first came along in 1940, I think. Back in 1940, men had much higher testosterone levels than they do now. I've seen lots of guys in their 60s, 70s, and 80s with normal testosterone levels. Iceland's full of a lot of really tough guys, Vikings. Makes me wonder if their testosterone level isn't really high and healthy here. And I've seen guys, like I said, in their 60s, 70s, or eight, even 85 with a normal testosterone level. 1100, 1200, not on anything. There was a study done 70 years ago that showed that men on average had a testosterone level of 1100. And when that study was repeated 70 years later in 2010, I think it was 2011 actually, it was a huge decrease, almost half. So from 1100 to 700. So we're not quite half, more like a third decrease. Young guys that are getting ready to play in the NFL or, or playing college football or basketball, they'll regularly have levels of 13, 1400 in, are not taking anything. And obviously they wouldn't be allowed to play in NCAA Division I sports. Testosterone levels drop because of vitamin deficiencies or genetic errors or trauma. Those are about the only three options. This is Dr. Dan Purser talking to you from Iceland where I've been speaking uh, right here in front of the Prime Minister's house. God bless and go in good health.